Good morning, backpackers. Today we're going to sing a brand new song, and it goes like this. We like Miss Ruth, there's no doubt about it. We like Alex, there's no doubt about it. We like Flynn, there's no doubt about it. We like Leah, there's no doubt about it. We like Kai, there's no doubt about it. We like Katie, there's no doubt about it. We like Morgan, there's no doubt about it. We like Nora Jo, there's no doubt about it. We like Parker, there's no doubt about it. We like PJ, there's no doubt about it. We like Sienna, there's no doubt about it. We like the backpackers, there's no doubt about it. We are all good friends. Let's do our prayer. So five fingers here, five fingers there, put them together. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for the drizzle that waters our plants. And thank you for keeping our friends and family safe. And I ask that we soon see each other again. Amen. And if there's a prayer that you would like me to say on the video, tell mommy to send me an email or a bright note message and I will say it here on the video. Time to do the calendar, the days of the week calendar. Today we're going to wave, wave. Are you ready? One, two, three. Days of the week, wave, wave. Days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, wave, wave. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week, wave, wave. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thursday. Then it's followed by Friday and Saturday. Since today is Wednesday and it is what Earth Day, I thought that we could go on an outside scavenger hunt. And I will email your mom and dad a list of our scavenger hunt and I'll show you what I found. Number one says something colorful. So I brought geraniums from my backyard garden. There it is. I like that color. Then it says find a pine cone. And I have this pine cone. And look, it's still stuck to the branch or limb. An acorn or a nut. I couldn't find a complete acorn. I found a half chewed one. So I have that. Let's stay. And then something rough. And what I remembered we had here in school was our dried snake. Remember our dried snake? Some, the top part's a little smooth, but the bottom part is rough. And it's two kinds of sticks. Well, I found this stick, and then I found this one. See how they're different? This one is thick and it's a little bent. This one is thin and has little twigs or little branches sticking out. And I think that's beautiful. Then it says something bumpy. And in my front yard, I have growing these succulents and they're kind of bumpy. And I think they're pretty, they're bumpy. Then it asked for a flat rock. The flattest rock I could find in my house was this one. It's a little pebble. Well, it's not a pebble, it's a rock. Oh, I think I brought a spider along with me too. Let's put it in the little jar, then we'll take it outside. It, something fuzzy. Now the geranium 
The leaf is a little fuzzy, so I brought the geranium leaf. Something pretty. Something pretty. What I brought that is pretty oh, is my lavender from my front garden. I brought three sprigs of it. The reason I think it's pretty is because it is a very bright color, purple, and it stands out with its nice green stems. And then when you rub it, mmm, it smells really good. So I brought lavender for something pretty. And then a chewed leaf. I brought a eucalyptus leaf that has a big chew there. And then something with a flower petal. I thought that my geranium could do that too. That I can use that twice for something colorful and something with a petal, a petal on it. A piece of litter outside. I found this piece of plastic. I'm not sure what it is, but it was outside, so I picked it up. And something that you think is a treasure. Now, what I think is a treasure is, I didn't find this in my house, in my backyard. I found it in the ocean, but I keep it in my house. It is a smooth stone that has been washed, and it has little holes in it that was made in the ocean. And these are all the treasures that I found. So maybe if mom and dad can take a picture of all your treasures and she can email them to me and I can look at them. I have, today instead of a song, we're going to do a flannel game. So here I have little piggies of different colors. I have a green one, a pink one, a white one, a light blue one, yellow one, and a red one. Now, these colorful piggies like to eat all kinds of foods, but one of their favorite foods are pancakes. So, for this, it's a little chant, and you can tap, or you can clap as you follow along. So, let's start with the color of a fire truck, red, and it goes, Red piggy, red piggy, let's see if you have yummy pancakes for me. So let's see. Oh, he did have the pancakes. Let's see if there's more pancakes. This time we'll do the, the color of the sky. Oh, that's light blue. Light blue piggy, light blue piggy. Let's see, do you have yummy pancakes for me? Do you think he has them? Oh, he does not have them. Oh, what color should we try next? Let's try the color of broccoli. What color is that? Green piggy, green piggy. Do you have yummy pancakes for me? Oh, he does not. Should we try the color of the sun or the color of dandelions? Yellow piggy, yellow piggy. Let me see. Do you have yummy pancakes for me? <gasps> no, he does not. We have two colors left. This is the color of a flower, pink. Pink piggy, pink piggy. Let's see, do you have yummy pancakes for me? Do you think he has them? <gasps> he does! <coughs> do you think that the color of clouds, white, do you think he has more pancakes? Let's see. White piggy, white piggy. Let me see. 
Do you have yummy pancakes for me? No, he does not. And that's the end of Piggy Piggy Pancake. Okay, it's time to do zoo phonics. Alley alligator is the letter A. A. Bubba bear is the letter B. Katina cat is the letter C. Dee Dee Deer is the letter D. D. Ellie Elephant is the letter E. A. Francie Fish is the letter F. Gordo Gorilla is the letter G. G. Honey Horse is the letter H. Any Inchworm, whoops. Any inchworm is the letter I. Ew. Jerry jellyfish is the letter J. Kao kangaroo is the letter K. Lizzie lizard is the letter L. Mm. Mitzi mouse is the letter M. Mm. Nigel night owl is the letter N. Mm. Olive Octopus is the letter O. Oh. Pee Wee Penguin is the letter P. Quinny Quail is the letter Q. <laughs> Robbie Rabbit is the letter R. Brr. Sally Snake is the letter S. Timmy Tiger is the letter T. Umber Umbrella Bird is the letter U. Uh. Vincent the Vampire Bat is the letter V. Mm. Willie Weasel is the letter W. Whoa. Xavier Fox is the letter X. X. Yancy Yak is the letter Y. U. Zeke the Zebra is the letter Z. Z. And today's letter is M or Missy Mouse. Mmm. And I looked around the room and what do you think I found? I found a magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. And I also found a little mouse. So can you find anything around your house that begins with the letter M. Today's story is Alice the Fairy by David Shannon. He also wrote the David books. My name is Alice. I'm a fairy. I'm not a permanent fairy. I'm a temporary fairy. You have to pass a lot of tests to be a permanent fairy. I have wings so I can fly. I can fly very, I can't fly very high yet, but I can fly really fast. This is my magic wand. This is my blanket. Fairies use magic wands to change frogs into, prince, into princesses and things like that. I changed my dad into a horse. Get it up, horsey. One time my mom made cookies for my dad, so I turned them into mine. Do you think she ate all those cookies? Oh my. I felt bad about the cookies, so I thought I'd whip up a new outfit for my dad. Did I tell you he's the Duke of Morningside Drive? Well, he is. He has a plaid velvet shirt, golden sparkly pants, and purplish pinkish shoes. That's my favorite color. 
The clothes were too hard, so I made him a new crown instead. Oh, look, she's got glitter and buttons and shells and pasta and little gems. With my magic wand, I can make leaves fall from the trees. And I can draw ice pictures on water. Sometimes I use my wand to disappear. But that's kind of scary. Oh look, she turned off the lights. And all you can see are her eyes. I'd rather use my blankie. Of course, I also have a magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Well, what do you know? It's me, Alice. Thank you, mirror. Fairy dust is very useful. I use it to turn oatmeal into cake. What do you think her fairy dust is? Casting spells is another important part of being a fairy. Watch me make my dog float on the ceiling. Hocus pocus, croakin docus. Do you think it worked? Huskin, talkin, riggin, flockin. Doggin, floggin, bibble, noggin. Okay, that one needs a little work. It didn't work. But a fairy must be very careful with magic. Once I accidentally turned my white dress into a red one. How do you think she did that? That made the Duchess so mad. She locked me in the tower forever. I got away, though. Look, she spilled the juice by mistake, and that's how she made her, red, her dress red. A fairy's life is filled with danger. Broccoli is often poisoned by the wicked duchess and should never be eaten. However, broccoli is good for you. Fairies also hate baths. I'd like to turn my bath water into strawberry jello. That would be fun. But I don't know how yet. You have to be a permanent fairy to do tricks like that. They go to advanced fairy school to learn how. Look at all those fairies flying. I'm supposed to learn how to make clothes get up off the floor and dance around and line up in the closet. I'm not very good at that though. I'd probably be a temporary fairy forever. And that is the end of Alice the Fairy by David Shannon. Okay. Now it's time to sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, Alex. Goodbye, Flynn. Goodbye, Leah. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Kai. Goodbye, Katie. Goodbye, Morgan. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Nora Jo. Goodbye, Parker. Goodbye, PJ. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Sienna. Goodbye, Miss Ruth. Goodbye, Backpackers. We'll see you again real soon.